This is Chris Kelly with your core complete hip rotation corrections. For our first exercise in our phase one circuit, we're going to need a many, a many bands here. All right? These are called band clamps because what I'm doing is placing the mini band around right above my knees. All right, I'm pressing my back into the wall, keeping my abs tight. I want to keep my feet together with this and just open my hip up, hold, and move slowly back down. All right, once again, this is not going to be a crazy sensation, but what I'm trying to do is press into, my, into the wall, kind of activate the right muscles. At the same time, I'm putting my hand into the area that I'm really trying to really hit with this, I'm trying to what is called externally rotate my hip and just hold this position, come down slow. I'm looking for 30 seconds in each position, really open it up, spend as much time as necessary at the top to feel that muscle contract. You, you will start to feel that more as the month goes on. We don't want to get this more in the front of our legs though. We're really trying to hit this area. So I want you to think about that muscle contracting as well. So mind muscle connection, really press into it, feel it contracting, and make it contract. Mind over matter. All right, so for our next exercise, we have a bent leg side plank. With a bent leg side plank, again, back is against the wall. Hips come up, abs are tight. Trying to extend my hips forward just a little bit. I'm just holding in this position for 30 seconds. All right, I can press down into the floor to help steady myself here. Just keeping my abs tight. I want to feel this in my side only. All right, from here, our last exercise is going to be a bird dog. All right, with the bird dog, again, I'm just trying to move from my hips only, meaning, or from my extremities only, meaning I'm not coming up too high because my back is going to start to arch or dip or whatever it may be. We don't want that to happen. So what I'm trying to do here, extend my leg forward. Once I gain stability here, extend the opposite leg. Just hold for 10 seconds. Switch sides. And again, if you find that to be too difficult, you can't, uh, you cannot maintain that. Okay, all I'm going to do is just segment it. So spend, you know, 10 to 20 seconds here, come back, 10 to 20 seconds here, and just alternate. Once you've mastered those drills, you perform those for several weeks and you're able to hold in each position or perform each with for 30 seconds without compensation, all right, we're going to move into our phase two exercises. For phase two, our first exercise is a side plank with abduction. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're combining the plank exercise or the side plank exercise that we did in month one with a clam exercise. All right, so this really kind of integrates everything pretty nicely. I'm going to move off the wall for this one. What I want to do, take one hand, press it into the ground, come up, raise up, hold, and come down. Again, I'm really feeling this in my side. I'm also feeling this in the down hip. Really good exercise. And again, you can either hold it at the top or just move slowly on the way down. The key, though, is we keep touching this thing the whole time. You're feeling this in your side and in your hip versus anywhere else. Now for my next exercise, I'm going into a band bird dog. Okay, so for the band bird dog, I'm actually going to stand on the bands. And do this basically the same thing as month one. Ideally what I want is to be able to extend one leg out, extend the opposite arm, and hold for 30 seconds. If you can't do that, simply segment it. Start with the leg, do 30 seconds there, start with the arm. Do 30 seconds there, or just kind of try to hold for maybe break it up into smaller time limits. So 10 seconds, relax, 10 seconds, relax, until you get that down. Okay, now for our last exercise here, uh, I have a mini band sidekick. So for the mini band sidekick, what I'm going to do is actually stand on my stretch bands here, lean up against the wall, kicking to the side, and coming back. All right, I'm using the wall to steady myself. And really kind of get the most out of this hip. So pause at the top, lower very, very slowly, and come back. All right, so with that said, 30 seconds in your position, three rounds. That, those are your hip rotation corrections.